okay so the last question uh, what they what uh, you guys were asked why these some are uh, some letters are in big some letters are in some letters are not in big uh, some letters are small what would be the reason kela actually the reason is the size quantity quantity matters for these ones so for example if i if i explain you okay so what will happen with these uh, ones generally so comparatively that's what they have noted that okay let me send you an answer so that's why actually they have mentioned that's why actually they have mentioned that um on the right side if you can see it clearly on the right side you can see that they have mentioned this thing that is for the size matters because of the size only they are providing let me send you the explanation for all these ones good good question see the image what i have uploaded for the ones what would be the reason actually the size matters that's what here on this note itself it says the image you have uploaded appears to be a chart referencing a uh, referencing this uh, bertin's levels of the organizations which is a concept from which is a concept from what which is a concept uh, from uh, jacques bertin's theory of information visualizations so bertins was a french um cartographer and uh, theorist and in his in his uh, seminal work seminology of gra graphics he identified visual variables that can be used to convey information graphically these are these are the uh, these are the uh, visual variables which we have to consider when we are conveying this one the chart has columns labeled with the letters in phenomenal or for ordinal q for quantitative which likely stands for nominal ordinal and quantitative these are types of data that can be represented in visualizations me va villa tiyana taran data monawada apita visualizations walin represent karanna puluwang so the rows so the rows a uh, list the rows list visual variables such as position size value texture me vavilla tanikara variables tamai apita consider karanna tiyena and then the small letters n o q e wa mona the next to the big letters capital n o q seems to be ranking man ki size seka kehema nattam odd eka rank ekak e mo e anna e wage moka kari indication ekak tamai metani karanna ranking or an indication of the suitability showing which type of data nominal ordinal quantitative is the best man ki for example make a position kela kiyana ek gattam me thuna me ek wage we can consider it as a nominal one we can consider it as an ordinal one we can consider it as a quantitative one as well but method te anakota most suitable one would be the nominal one for texture 
මේ ඕඩිනල් කියලා කියන එක සමහරක් වෙලාවට according to the context අපිට consider කරන්න පුළුවන් වෙයි but it's not much suitable අන්න ඒ වගේ රීසන් එකක් තමයි මෙතනදී තියෙන්නේ is it clear is it clear okay that's how it works then the deconstructions the next topic would be the deconstructions what it, what do we mean by the deconstructions okay now we have another image okay so experts uh, exports uh, rained imports to and okay so this is kind of an um, image no we can't say it as image this is kind of an visualization this is the uh, william playfire in 1786 that this would be the visualization so for the x axis what they have uh, mentioned uh, year year as the x axis and y axis again they have uh, used the, this as the currency again it also a quantitative variable the all these two are quantitative variable but for the year we can consider it as nominal or ordinal or anything but it's again a yeah, kind of a dimension uh, now the color color imports exports n and o uh, so here we have used these two as the quantitative variables and for the imports and exports we can consider it as nominal or the ordinal hari the that's how it works uh, now what will happen so this is kind of another visualization what they have done okay with the terminologies with the technologies financial healthcare um, energy capital uh, goods transports this is kind of an um, this is kind of an or uh, what we call the uh, smartmoney.com ekeng gatta nikan ara market map ekak wage for example this is kind of an market map मिनिंग मिनिंग කරන්න බැරි වෙන්න පුළුවන් බට් මොකද වෙන්නේ අපි දැනගන්න ඕනේ we have to know that these kind of visualizations may be those ones are 2d may be those ones are 3d for these kind of visualizations there are so many things here so we have to have kind of a good uh, idea good knowledge about this then we have the rectangle position okay for the rectangle position market sector n that is nominal and the market cap quantitative variable is there and for the color hue loss versus gain again it would be nominal or ordinal and for the color value it is exactly if it is value related thing then it would be a quantitative one with the magnitude of loss or gain that's what we have here then another visualization see minard has done another visualization in 1969 1869 with the napoleon's march this is kind of another visualization single axis composition see even we can't think about these kind of visualizations right so when it comes to a composition we have single axis composition and then we have the mark composition as well so this is kind of a single axis composition single axis we don't have multiple axis to consider so here for the mark composition 
y-axis as the temperature and for the x-axis they have used longitude or the time as the longitude or the time as the mark composition okay that's what we have here for the so then from these two we can have it the temperature over the space time the temperature over the space time but here it's not like that just kind of a single axis composition will be there and now what will happen we have multiple ones when it comes to mark compositions here we have y axis as the latitude and then x axis and as the longitude not only that we have another axis that would be with 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 the army sizes all these three will be quantitative variables quantitative ones okay so here we have three dimensions see here we have three dimensions multiple with the uh, with the context itself we have to identify what would be the data type or what would be the context according to the given context we have to know the types of the variables as well whether those ones are nominal ordinal or quantitative if it is quantitative whether it's um what we call the ratio or the interval kiyala me vidiyata hama information ekakma we should have kind of an idea about that and here again the napoleon's march one this is again kind of an visualization that's all about the image visualizations visualizations then we have to move for the formalizing designs how we going to do formalization on our design scale we are going to talk about that topic now is it clear up to this point any were you able to uh, get a kind of an idea about this one just think and tell me okay so let's discuss about the formalizing these designs so for the formalizing designs choosing visual encodings are now we are going to talk about how to choose the visual encodings 
Okay, let's assume that K. Let's assume that K visual encodings and in data attributes are there. Hitan na pita K again K types of visual encodings so we apita in data attributes so iti ano. So we would like to pick the best encoding. We would like to pick the best encoding among a combined. A combinational set of possibilities of size n plus 1 into k. Then, apigava k visual encodings for n data attributes, we would like to pick the best encoding. So, we would like to pick the best what are the main coding? You can see the main coding. Then there might be number of possibilities n plus k into k. Mitcharaka pramanaya. Mitcharaka pramanaya. Kapigava had the name of the combinations. Unno a combinations willing. Apita puluang when known. Select karagana. Mokak the hariatama. Select karagana. Mokak the hariatama. Uh, vada hond, most suitable my kamukakta kiela. Then we have the principle of consistency. Then we have the principle of consistency. Mana the principle of consistency. So the properties of the image api may principles of consistency at the So the properties of the image or the visual variables should match the properties of the data mokada wenne api gattoth properties image ekey tiyena properties gattoth ehema nattang api ara consider karapu visual variables gattoth meva okkoma equal wennone mokakata da mokakata da equal wennone ara api katha karana properties of data data wala tiyena properties walata equal wennone and then the principle of importance ordering ita passe mokada wenne api me uh, principle, a uh, principle of importance, ordering gatama, ordering swalatin importance, gatama, encode the most important information in the most effective way. Itana the apikata karane and at the tamamukada, api encode karane anava, the most important information, vada vadagatma toratura, in the most effective way, vada vadagatma vidya encode karane. Hari, then the design criteria. So when it comes to design criteria, we have to think about the expressiveness and also the effectiveness. If we design the criteria, we have to think about the expressiveness. If we have to think about the expressiveness, we have to think about the expressiveness. The mukadame expressiveness and the effectiveness can expressiveness means a set of facts is expressible in a visual language. Apiara select karagana facts ki pea karagato teva pi express karno emanatani rupane karana penum karanava in a visual language if the sentences that is the visualizations in the language express all the facts in the set of data and only the facts in the data. So a set of facts in expressible in a visual language, if the sentences in the language express all the facts in the set of data and only the facts. Api me hitana vidhiata, api a set of facts is expressible. Api gunnawana, api silek karaganona, monahari karunu ki pak, etike expressible venama, kila can api kuhuma the in a visual language. Mukakari api silek karagana visual language, jaking e api silek karagana sentence, a kehima natang visualization, a kapikatot, make a tiana hammer ekakma language express all the facts. Eke antar gata vela tiana see a loom of facts. See a loom of facts. Nirupane karana, Puluang venna tone saha, and only the facts in the data. A data world to Vitarak tina facts ticket, Nirupane karana, Puluang venna tone. A tianatiko okomai, a tianatika animarinui karana, Nirupane karana, 
express karana puluwang ven no ne and then we have the cannot express the facts there might be some situations which we cannot express the facts ehenang e wage thang waladi a multivariate relation may be inexpressive in a single horizontal dot plot because multiple records are mapped to the same position samaharak velawata multivariate relations ogulo stat karana nang godak laa tik gena gena thati multivariate relationships kena so anne hema gattot api multivariate relation ekak gattot for those kind of ones we normally define them as ek ඉන්එක්ස්ප්‍රෙසිව් කියලා ඒ කියන්නේ අපිට හරියටම එක්ස්ප්‍රෙස් කරන්න බැහැයි කියලා ඉන සිංගල් හොරිසොන්ටල් ඩොට් ප්ලොට් තියෙන එක හරස් අතර තියෙන එක ඩොට් ප්ලොට් එකකින් බිකොස් මල්ටිපල් රෙකෝඩ්ස් ආ මැප් ටු ද සේම් පොසිෂන් මොකද ගොඩක් රෙකෝඩ්ස් රෙකෝඩ්ස් කීපයක් එක පොසිෂන් එකකට මැප් වෙලා තියෙන පුළුවන් ඒක නිසා we can't say it as क्राइटेरिया विदिवस design criteria with the expressiveness then the effectiveness also we just talked a visualization is more effective than another visualization if the information conveyed by one visualization is more readily perceived than the information in the other visualization that's about it okay then we have the design criteria translated api me design criteria ek translate karo tell the truth and nothing but the truth tell the truth and nothing but the truth don't lie api boru karanna honda ne ape visualizations walta sa api magarala yanna hondat ne adala informations okay then use encodings ida passe apita kiyanawa encodings use karanna kiyala that people decode better so where are better faster and o more accurate better means actually more faster and or else more accurate okay that's all about it is it clear up to this point any idea that's about it okay then if we move to the last part of uh, today's lesson okay then we are moving to the last few slides i think we have only eight to nine slides so here uh, they have kind of an mapping with the uh, mckinley's uh, rankings how we going to rank these ones with the quantitative ordinal and nominal data with the position um hue and all of these ones so that's what that's what we uh, mentioned earlier if it is multivariate then it might be a little bit complex see now the position is uh, coming for all these three data types 
it might be a quantitative one, it might be an ordinal one, it might be a nominal one as well. Saturation also, we can map into all these three. But for some, thing, some, some uh, variables are not belongs to ordinal and some variables are not belongs to nominal as well. These are kind of few data types. Conjectured effectiveness of encodings by data type. Then the last part would be um, McKinley's uh, design algorithm. So APT, APT means a presentation tool. APT refers to a presentation tool, 1986. So what we have to do, the user formally specifies data model and type. So input ordered list of data variables to show. Generally, if it is user formally specifies data model and type, then uh, we have to consider kind of an ordered list uh, of data variables to show as the input. And for a presentation tool, um, searches of a design space, then uh, what we have to consider, first we have to test expressiveness. Is the Lapita expressiveness a test of each visual encoding, generate encodings that pass test and then rank by perceptual effectiveness criteria as well. So for the output, the most effective visualization. Okay. And for the APT, automatically generated chart for hard data. This is kind of another visualization method, a presentation tool. Uh, what we have done by a visualization, what we have done by using a presentation tool. They are the input variables are price, mileage, repair, and weight. So for these type of ones, we can do visualizations. Then we have to discuss about the limitations of the APD, a presentation tool. What are the limitations? So those presentation tools might not cover many visualization techniques. Sometimes maybe those visualizations might not cover all these visualization techniques. For example, networks, hierarchies, maps, diagrams, and also not only that, 3D structures, animations, illustrations, these are kind of few. Then, and also sometimes it does not consider the interactions as well. Some interactions I consider when in Nathivenna And also does not consider semantics or the conventions as well. Api Pili Padina Devalvata Adala Veninati, Hematnata Samana Veninati, Yalapeninati Eva Venat Pulva. And also it assumes single visualization as output. Samara Kalao take a single visualization. Eka make a single visualization. Eka Pidira Pi consider Kerna as an output. That's what here we have. Still an active area of research, for example. Uh, draft row visualization maker ongoing than it up in a research checker. But uh, if I um, summarize all these informations which we discussed uh, along the data and the image models, up a formal specifications can a katakara, ethanadi we discussed about the data models, relational data, nominal, ordinal, quantitative types, it a pass image models can a katakara, ethanadi. Uh, we discussed about the visual encodings and visual encoding channels. And it per se, uh, we discussed about um, how we gonna uh, map all these ones, encoding maps to data, uh, to visual variables, how we gonna encode, how we gonna map these two. It per se, we discussed about the expressiveness and uh, choose expressive and effective encodings, how to choose these ones and rule-based tests of expressiveness. And then we discussed about the perceptual effectiveness rankings. These are kind of few examples. And at last, uh, try to answer for this question, how do we establish effectiveness criteria? This answer might be subjective, 
this answer might be subjective but but try to answer this one in general okay that's all about the data and the model part then next from next week we have kind of another topic so yeah next week anyway we uh, we have a holiday now again we will be meeting on 23rd i think okay then see you on 23rd and until that please study all these lessons i'll upload the recordings uh, within today thank you so much for joining see you on next day